All right, Avi, I need you to focus on the center dot of the screen and then tell me what you saw. Okay, sure. Um, Rick, now point with your left hand at what you saw. Um, okay. Wait, what? Um, excuse me? That clearly said key ring. No, you see, Avi here is a split brain patient, which is why he- Wait, so his brain is literally split into two different parts? Well, really, all of our brains are split into two different hemispheres. So, we're all split brain patients? No, no, no. Unlike Avi, our two hemispheres are connected, allowing our two different brains to function as one. What? But, what? Here, let me give you an explanation. Colossal Disconnection Syndrome, or Split Brain Syndrome, is simply the disconnection of the left and right hemispheres of your brain due to the lesioning or damage to the corpus callosum. Your corpus callosum is a bundle of over 200 million nerve fibers within your brain's longitudinal fissure that connects the two sides of your brain. You can think of it as a neural bridge, where the sensory information obtained from either side of the brain can be processed and communicated to each other. But what happens when that bridge becomes split? Even if your two hemispheres are not connected, they still control and process the same things, right? Wrong. Actually, neurobiologist Roger Wolcott Sperry, through his split brain experiments, discovered that the left and right hemispheres of your brain each have their own specialized functions, in which the left hemisphere is responsible for functions your right hemisphere isn't, and vice versa. This is also known as cerebral dominance. Your right hemisphere is more creative and is dominant in areas such as facial recognition, spatial tasks, music, art, and imagery, while your left hemisphere is more analytical and is dominant in areas such as logic, reasoning, math, and language, since it's this hemisphere where Broca's area of speech production is located. Our hemispheres have also evolved to have contralateral control, meaning the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body, and the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body. This is why when Avi was asked what he saw, he said what his left brain saw through his right field of vision, but pointed with his left hand at what his right brain saw. All of this was discovered through the study of split brain syndrome, which goes to show how vital this condition was in learning more about brain lateralization. So, next time you say, think, or do anything, which side of you was it?